Hello, my name's Simon. I'm here at Gentleman's and Rose Club to get my beer trimmed by Charlie. Sweet. Let's do this. Sweet. So what we're doing here for Simon is, he just just described that he would like his beard to be uh, faded and blended in to with his hair. Also, he wants to go for more of a square shape. Square shape meaning sides here, we're just gonna go straight down, so any of the flyaways, we're just gonna take them clean, squared off, and the underneath, we're just gonna box it. Give like a nice, strong box beard. And a little bit off that moustache, so we can eat again. So what I'm gonna start off doing is with the detailers, brush the beard down, and just sharpen up the angles. I like to work on the outside, make sure I get my, my borderline all sharpened up before I work on the beard. Take this straight down. Give them that box finish. Can you just look up from them? Get those neck hairs. Will do. Sweet. So what, what I've just done there is that I've just given him that 90 degree corner there from where the, the natural beard line sits. So I can see that the hair stops growing about here. So I'm just going to corner it off. I want to make it as square as possible. Nice. I've got my wall icons, I've got my one guard, and I've opened it up to a one and a half. I'm actually going to keep the skin taut and just flick for where the uh, bottom half of the tragus is. A good way to judge on the distance of like blending the beard in is using the ear. So the bottom half of the tragus, that's my one and a half. Now I've got a one because I've just closed it. I'm going to use the mid of the tragus. Now I've got my 0.5, and I'm going to use the top of the tragus. Now I'm actually going to go a little bit lower, because I want to fade this a little bit more. So I'm now going to go back on my one and a half, and go like mid lobe. And that's just personal preference of me wanting to blend that beard in a little bit more. So now that I'm done with the uh, sides, that they're all they're blended through, and I've taken it straight down, I'm now going to my scissors. I'm going to comb out the bottom of the beard and this is where we just want to take it straight across but as the customer said he's, he's still, he likes the length of his beard so we don't want to go too crazy and take where the chin is, I actually want to go from the underneath. It's where I went previously with the uh, mini clippers and I made this corner, I'm actually going to rest my scissors on him, obviously don't, don't go into him, rest it on him or else you'll cut him up and you just go straight. Don't go into him. Yeah, don't go into him. Yeah, it'll be a bit weird in two ways. One, he'll be he'll be bleeding. Right, and that will be nice. Don't go into him. <laughs> yeah. No, not. Again, it's just about that steady hand. And the good thing about uh, having a, a square beard instead of a curved one. Is that you know, as long as you're going straight, you're gonna have those sharp edges. As long as you don't go straight, you don't round yourself off. If I was to recommend anything, I think getting the whole beard trim once, once a month maybe, but uh, where your cheek, well, this part's gonna grow instantly. This is gonna be back within two days. Yeah, yeah. So if you're able to at home, get like a razor or some clippers, whatever you've got. Just keep on top of that. Yeah, follow the line that I've put in for you. Yeah, as long as you don't go lower than that line, you'll have no problems. You don't wanna. You don't want to keep taking your beard lower and lower and lower yeah, and then yeah. end up with a chin strap. Yeah. 
That would be terrible. Don't want that. No. So as long as you feel confident enough to sharpen up the cheeks, go for it. Cool. Just sharpening it. Getting rid of those random flyaways and really getting those angles in there. When I cut with my scissors, at this, at this stage, I'm only cutting in, in three directions. Up like this, across like this, and then up again like this. You want a bit off the mustache as well, off the upper lip. Yeah. Because we're only trimming up the, giving it a light trim to the mustache, what I do is use the corner of the clippers and just go around the lips. But just so we can eat food again without having to eat his mustache. We're not exactly doing a heavy trim on the mustache. Now it's down to finishing touches. Just got the cutthroat razor. I'm just going to sharpen up the cheeks there. Oh, you're going to knee me in the bubble. Excuse me. I'll be some skill, mate. Keep the, keep the skin taut. And just go down. This just makes it a little bit sharper. And there we are. Lovely jubbly. Let's get some... Uh, would you like some beard balm in there? Yeah, because I've kind of combed and brushed all the balm that you had in there. Going to be using some old money uh, utility balm. So this balm is just going to moisturize the skin underneath as well as the actual facial hair itself. Beard Brain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.